Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we are going to create a fire projectile VFX effect using the Unity Particle System. Oh, so let's get started. So I'm using Unity Universal Render Pipeline. And uh, first we have to create a new particle system. And rename it to fire underscore orb reset its transform and uh, inside render set the max particle size to 3 now I have uh, some assets this is my fire sheet that I'm going to drag into unity and now I'm going to create a material fire sheet underscore map so I have used the sheet from internet. You can find similar one on Google. So first of all, go to legacy shaders, particles, additive, and drag and drop this sheet. Drop it onto the fire orb. Okay. Okay. Next, what we have to do is uh as the sheet has four rows and four columns we have to select texture sheet animation four by four and whole sheet yes this is how it will look later on we will change the shader to whatever we like currently this is our setting okay now inside renderer select a mesh and this mesh is going to be a sphere as you can see we have a sphere here next what i have to do is now set the duration to one uh, check pre-warm set the start lifetime to random between two constants one and uh, two start speed will be 0 start size will be 1 rotation will be random between two constants 0 and 360 uncheck shape emission is 15 color over lifetime then we have size over lifetime and make a graph like this one bring it here add a keyframe here and smooth it like this and like this okay so this is looking like a fireball now okay next we have rotation over lifetime and the values will be random between two constants minus 20 and plus 20 now we have to duplicate our fireball and rename it to fireball underscore 2 and its lifetime will be 0 0.5 and 1 and we'll change its color to orange okay and start size will be 0 0.75 and rotation will be 0 to 180 next thing is the emission and that is going to be 10 this is how our file ball is currently looking now if we change the color from here it will glow more so make it more glowing like this one good so this is our fireball now create a new effect particle system and rename it to outer glow okay and uh, transform is already zero set the max particle size to three and if all particle is selected that's fine drag it above so that we can see it how it's working for now take it out and uncheck this one so that we can see how it's working uh, set the speed to 0 uncheck shape 
okay and uh, this material is not very good because it has black borders so we will use default particle system this one okay now we'll select an orange color set the size to 2 and change let's reduce the opacity okay that looks fine and lifetime will be one second duration will be one second okay. premium will be checked so now this looks better emission is going to be one or maybe two and lifetime will be one or 1.3 okay change the emission to three and put it back here rename it to auto glow okay now restart to see how it looks now reposition it to zero and our outer glow is not properly visible so let's increase the size to five so we can see it four three check which size looks best two now we what we will do is we will duplicate this fire orb this one yeah now duplicate it and we will rename it to smoke and uh, we will change the mesh to billboard uh, currently it's like this duplicate the fire sheet change the color from here maybe like this and drag and drop it onto the smoke and let me see shaders particles additive smoke change the color to some kind of brownish red something like this increase the size to two this is red i don't want red let's keep it to white decrease the size to 1.5 and inside emission put it to zero and rate over distance to 10 now it will only emit particles when we will move but we want these particles to leave a trail behind so what we will do it is we will change the simulation space to world and now it will leave a trail wherever we will go so put it back to zero okay fine now stop it so see what we have to do next next we will duplicate this uh, smoke effect and uh, uncheck texture sheet animation and we will select the default particle system okay okay so this will also emit some particles but uh, default particle this one default change the billboard to stretch it billboard rename it to sparks now currently it's not emitting any kind of sparks first of all change it back to this so that we can see it while making it so we can't see any sparks as the size is a very small set the speed scale to 0.5 and length scale to 2 will be fine uh, change the speed to 1 so that we can see it properly so they are too big for this so 0.5 would be a good size or maybe 0.1 yeah change the color to orange or orangish white and inside the mission put the values to 10 put this one to 0 and 0 and let's see how they will look when we'll move them so yeah they are moving but uh, in a straight line and we don't want them to move in a straight line so select the sparks and select the shape and decrease its radius to something like this that looks better now move it and you can see the sparks are moving in multiple directions reduce the angle to 
10 and that's it now you can sp see the sparks are moving we also want to add a little bit of gravity to our sparks not that much but 0.5 would be good so they will start falling after some time the value is a bit too big let's reduce it to 0.1 and now you can see the sparks are falling but after a delay still too fast so 0 0.05 um, let's change the value of size 0.1 and 0.5 okay so now our sparks are looking better put it back to zero and this is how it looks now we have to make a prefab of this effect because our projectile is ready but uh, we have to move it so we have we need a player for shooting so now create a 3d object sphere okay we set its transform maybe and now create a new 3d object cube uh, reduce its size to 0 0.1 and one and one and place it ahead of the player and increase its z scale this is our shooting point also create an empty game object and rename it to shooting point to give it exactly the point from where we are going to shoot okay place it this point here we can also use a gizmo for that purpose uh, currently I've turned off the gizmos but you can see this is here all right next what I have to do is just turn off this one because we don't need it for now okay we have the shooting point we have this so create a new script and rename it to player script this is our player this sphere is our player so we have to attach the script to our player attach the script onto the player and I would like to open it public transform shooting point to get a reference of position of the shooting point okay next is public game object fireball to get a reference of our fireball prefab and uh, this inside update we'll write if input dot get mouse button down zero like if we press mouse zero button then instantiate a projectile instantiate fireball at at shooting point dot transform dot position and the rotation will be quaternion dot identity so that's it let's see if this script works let's check if it is creating any fireball at that position currently the fireball will not move assign shooting point and the fireball prefab now do this and in our game scene let's press mouse button down zero left click on mouse button and you can see it has created a fireball effect okay next we have to move this fireball so we will create a new script and rename it to fireball movement now select your fireball and drag and drop this fireball movement script onto it open it inside update what we have to do is this dot get component rigid body as we have to add a rigid body to our fireball dot add relative force new vector 3 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay we have to add a force here we will show you I'll show you how to do it but first add a rigid body to your fireball it's added great 
uncheck hues gravity so currently our fireball is here but it's not moving because the value of this add relative force is zero we want our fireball for example this is our fireball and we want it to move in this direction currently this direction is if you can see in the uh, inspector if we move it in this direction this is going in negative z direction so we have to give it a negative z value so let's give it a value of negative 5 let's hide this wall so that we can see how far our ball goes because currently we don't have any corridor on our ball or anything else so our fireball is moving and that looks great we can spawn multiple fireballs currently their speed is too slow so we can increase the speed we can also make a variable here and assign it a value of speed but let's suppose currently our speed is 15 go back to unity and spawn some fireballs as you can see our fireball is moving now very fast we can increase the speed currently we don't have a script for the movement of our player we, you can add it there are plenty of scripts available for the movement of player and when the player will move we can also change the direction of our fireball so this looks great so that's how we create a fireball effect using the unity particle system i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos we will see you in a new video